Today we're going to go over the triangle inequality theorem. Your essential question is how do you know if side lengths will make a triangle? So the first thing we want to look at is um, different sets of side lengths because not all side lengths will make a triangle. So here's three different instances. So triangles always have three different sides. We all know that, that is the definition of a triangle. And out of those three sides, there's usually a small, a medium, and a large side. Um, so you ha do have three different instances. What if the small and the medium added together is less than the large side? If they are equal to the large side or if they are greater than the large side? So this is what happened in each of those instances. In the first case, the small and the medium legs would be less than the large one. So that would mean that the two legs would never ever touch. They'd be too short to actually complete the triangle. In the second instance, when the small and medium legs added together are equal to the large, your small and medium together make the exact same length of line as your large leg. So you just end up with two lines rather than a triangle. The last instance is what you would consider a traditional triangle, where the small and the medium added together are bigger than the large, so they would actually make a true triangle. And this last one is the one that we're going to be focusing on today. We're going to be using this rule in order to figure out if different um, leg lengths will make a triangle. So what if you had an example like this? In this example, you have three different lengths of legs. You have one that's eight inches, one that's 17 inches, and one that's 15 inches. So we need to see if we put all those together, if they would truly make a triangle or if they would do one of the first two instances that we saw above. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna put them in order from least to greatest. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna plug it into the formula that we found above and see if it's true or not. So first we want to just plug these numbers into the formula. So small plus medium, so eight plus 15, is greater than the larger side, which is 17. And eight plus 15, when you add them together, 23. And 23 is actually bigger than 17. Um, on your test, you're gonna be asked to prove whether they do make a true triangle or not. This right here would be your proof. And of course your answer would be that yes, it makes a triangle. We're gonna try one more example. The first thing we wanna do is you wanna put them in order from least to greatest. Plug them in the formula next and then solve. What's 1.1 plus 8.2? That would be 9.3. And unfortunately, 9.3 is not greater than 9.9, .9, so that is not true. This would be my proof. And of course, this does not make a triangle. We're gonna continue on the next side. Next side, we're going to look at um, two lengths and we're gonna see what the possible third side could be, what's the smallest it could be, and what's the largest possible size that it could be. So what, if you had an example like this, the first thing you wanna do is um, find the smallest. And to do that, you're going to plug it into this formula. So we, the first thing we wanna do is just plug it in. My largest side is seven, minus my smallest side is three, and then we're gonna add one. Seven minus three is four, and four plus one is five. So that means that my, the smallest that my third side could be would be five feet. The next thing we wanna do is try to find the largest. And to do that, we wanna plug it into this formula. 
So let's go ahead and plug it in. My largest side is seven plus my smallest side is three. And then we're going to subtract one from that. Seven plus three is 10. And minus one means that the largest that my third side could be would be nine feet. So as long as my third side is between five and nine feet, then um, it would make a triangle. Um, the very last thing you want to do, or at least do it in your head once you get used to doing it, is to check by plugging it back into the triangle inequality theorem. So I'm gonna check my smallest first. And my smallest was five feet, which makes my order now, um, three feet is my smallest side. Five feet would be my medium side. And then seven feet would be my largest side. So we're gonna plug that into our formula. Three plus five, is it greater than seven? Three plus five is eight, and it is greater than seven, that works. So, and then we need to check our largest. So our largest side was nine feet. Put those in order, so our smallest size would then be three feet. My medium side would be seven feet. And then my largest side would then be nine feet. Plug it in. Is three plus seven greater than nine? And three plus seven is 10. It is greater than nine. It works out. So that means that this is for sure true, that the smallest it can be is five and the largest it can be is nine. Make sure that you write your summary at the bottom and this is the end of your notes.